Foreign body ingestions are commonly found in pediatric and psychiatric patient populations. Among children, those aged between 18 and 48 months are most commonly involved in accidental swallowing of objects. Adults with mental health conditions, cognitive impairments, or neurological disorders are at increased risk. In addition, older adults with reduced palatal sensation are particularly susceptible to unintentionally ingesting dentures. Anatomical considerations. The location of foreign body impaction differs significantly across age groups. In children, foreign bodies tend to lodge in the proximal esophagus due to its relative anatomical narrowing. In contrast, adults most often experience impaction in the distal esophagus. Commonly ingested objects include small items such as coins, toy parts, and writing instruments, which are more likely to become trapped in areas of natural anatomical constriction. Potential complications. Foreign body ingestion can result in serious complications, including airway obstruction, esophageal stricture, and perforation. Perforation occurs either through mechanical erosion caused by sharp or rigid objects, such as bone fragments, or through chemical corrosion, particularly in cases of battery ingestion. These complications require prompt medical attention to prevent significant tissue injury or life-threatening outcomes. Clinical manifestations in adults. Adults with foreign body ingestion typically present with characteristic symptoms. Retrosternal pain is a key indicator, often accompanied by dysphagia, which reflects difficulty or discomfort with swallowing. Additional symptoms such as vomiting and choking may also occur, signaling the need for thorough evaluation and urgent medical intervention. Clinical manifestations in pediatric patients. In children, foreign body ingestion manifests differently. Symptoms often include refusal to eat, vomiting, and marked abdominal discomfort. Respiratory signs such as gagging, choking, and stridor are particularly concerning and may point to airway involvement. Other notable symptoms include neck or throat pain, as well as hypersalivation or drooling, which may indicate esophageal obstruction. Diagnostic methodologies. Diagnosis of foreign body ingestion relies heavily on imaging. Radiographs or plain x-rays are typically used as an initial screening tool for detecting radiopaque objects. For non-radiopaque items, computed tomography scans have become the preferred diagnostic method, progressively replacing older techniques like barium swallow studies due to their superior accuracy and safety. Treatment. Endoscopy is the cornerstone of treatment for managing foreign body ingestion. Emergency endoscopic intervention is warranted in cases involving airway compromise, significant symptoms, or suspected complications. Specific indications for urgent removal include ingestion of sharp or elongated objects, multiple foreign bodies, button batteries, evidence of perforation, and prolonged retention exceeding 24 hours. Special clinical scenarios. Button battery ingestion. Ingestion of a button battery constitutes a medical emergency due to the high risk of tissue injury. Perforation can occur within as little as six hours after ingestion. Once the battery has passed the esophagus, expectant management may be appropriate, but it requires careful and frequent follow-up to monitor for delayed complications. Sharp object ingestion. Sharp objects pose a significant risk of perforation and therefore require immediate endoscopic removal. Guidelines recommend removing sharp objects from the esophagus, stomach, or duodenum as quickly as possible. If a sharp object has passed into the distal gastrointestinal tract without causing symptoms, radiographic monitoring is essential to document its progression. Narcotics ingestion. The ingestion of narcotic packets presents unique management challenges. Endoscopy is generally avoided due to the risk of packet rupture. Instead, observation is the preferred approach, allowing the intact packet to pass naturally through the gastrointestinal tract. 
The patient must be monitored until the packets are expelled rectally. Pharmacological interventions. Pharmacological measures include the use of intravenous glucagon, typically administered at a dose of 1 to 2 milligrams. This can help relax the esophageal sphincter and facilitate the passage of certain foreign bodies. Foley catheter removal techniques can be employed in selected cases involving blunt foreign objects. In most instances, ingested items will pass through the gastrointestinal tract within 48 to 72 hours. Systematic monitoring with serial imaging is necessary to track the progress of object clearance and to detect complications if they arise. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comments section.